Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Senior Honors Assembly. It's our pleasure to have you here with us this evening, and I introduce to you now Evelyn Murray to begin our evening with prayer. Dear students, teachers, and parents of Notre Dame Academy, we have gathered here this evening to honor the achievements and accomplishments of the class of 2020. As we open our ceremony, let us unite our hearts in prayer. For although we are physically apart, we are still one in a community of love. Dear God, today we join with heaven as we celebrate and give thanks for every student here. Thank you that each one is unique and brimming with potential. Thank you for leading them in their learning, for keeping them safe as they studied, and for watching over them in their final exams. We pray that they may all feel proud this day and enjoy sharing their achievements with family and friends. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's great adventure. Father, we thank you so much for our time here together, for all the friends we have made, for all the days of laughter and fun, and for all the times of great discovery and learning. We thank you for all these students who have given of their energy and skill so that we can honor them today. We thank you for our teachers, mentors, family, and loved ones, and give them all to you in prayer. Fill our hearts with your dreams that we might eternally love and serve you this day and every day. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. St. Julie Billiard, pray for us. Amen. Hello and welcome to the Senior Honors Assembly. I'm Natalia Klesnico and I've had the privilege of being the senior class president this year. Over the past two months, I've had a lot of time to think about our class. Like a lot of you, I've been overanalyzing the small moments I took for granted. I miss the smiles I would get in the halls, I miss talking to people in the cafe line, and I miss the second floor bathroom. I'm sure every other senior class would miss similar things, but it's odd we lost those things two months before we graduated. But it has made me even more grateful for the time we did spend together. I think about how lucky I was to spend the other three years and nine months with this class. Some of the moments we've shared feel like they're out of a coming of age movie. The dance battle we had against Hawaii and Florida during close up, running behind on NDA day decorations every year, but rallying together to finish during lunch, singing Disney songs a cappella for an hour straight on the way back from Kairos. We were accepted to the top colleges in the nation. We dominated athletics and got to CIF championships. I think we are all aware of how special our class is. I can't imagine any other grade pulling off Justin Bieber juniors. And I think this stems from the deep bond we all share. We may all have individual friend groups, but everyone treats each other with kindness and is always willing to help. I used to think that all other high school classes were like this, that the, cl the other classes of 2020 were close, funny, and kind. But this pandemic has shown me how special NDA's class of 2020 really is. I have friends at other schools who aren't sad about their graduation or about their lost time. And it took me a really long time to comprehend why I was so much more disappointed than them. And I think it is because of the bond we share, the love and, love and appreciation we have for each other. It makes it a lot harder to say goodbye. I know it's been a hard few months for us. And I was texting Clara McNeil about this. And she said, appreciate the pain, know it's because of love and let it go. I think that quote encapsulates how to view this situation. The pain of losing this time comes from the love of the class and each other. NDA has given us so much and I couldn't have imagined going to high school with any other group of girls. And I would like to extend a thank you to all the parents, teachers and faculty who have helped us not just these past two months, but for the past four years. You guys have shaped us to who we are today and we couldn't be more grateful. And this class is special, literally one for the history books. I'm hoping this quarantine has helped you all reflect and think about our class from a new perspective. This is a talented group of people and I can't wait to see what we will all do next.
What a beautiful opening prayer and a beautiful opening speech. Um, we will begin our, our honors assembly with um, the Christian Service Awards. To receive a diploma from Notre Dame Academy, a student must have completed at least 100 hours of service. And we would like to recognize those who have gone far beyond what was asked of them. We honor these students for the hundreds of hours they spent working in schools, hospitals, rest homes, summer camps and other venues, enriching the lives of thousands of people from the very young to the very old. The following students have completed over 200 hours of service. Gemma Clark, Asia Custis, Virginia Anabulele, Sophia Gonzalez, Alondra Hernandez, Mia Huo, Madison Maldonado, Ella Nyquist, Giselle Perez, Ava Purcell, Kelly Richardson, Madeline Smith, Fiona Taylor, and Sarah Taylor. The following students have completed over 300 hours of service. Isabella Andrade, Claudia Hernandez, Madeline Moretta, Emily McPherson, Clara McNeil, Sonia Nichols, and Tierney Smith. The following students have completed over 400 hours of service. Lily Klein, Evelyn Murray, Gabriella Nepomuceno. The following student has completed over 500 hours of service. Yvette Esteban. And the following students have completed over 800 hours of service. Justina Antoon, Lily Burrill, Sophia St. Dennis. The total number of hours that the class of 2020 has donated is over 18,000 55 and a half hours of service that's been recorded over the last four years. In accord with NDA's mission to form women of faith and develop Christian leaders committed to service, NDA offers an especially wonderful retreat in the senior year. The Kairos retreat is a special sacred time with God, with others and with self and it provides an opportunity for students to reflect on their ever maturing faith. Sadly, not all seniors experience this due to the pandemic. We are still hopeful for some sort of modified experience pending guidelines. Nevertheless, the leaders prepared for the spring Kairos just like their counterparts. For their countless hours of service, their gift of leadership, their commitment to living the fourth. We honor the following student Kairos leaders, both fall and spring, with a special Kairos medal to wear at graduation. A huge thank you to Isabella Andrade, Justina Antoon, Lauren Gamboa, Sophia Gonzalez, Allison Grant, Alondra Hernandez, Rebecca Hurst, Gigi Lauren, Clara McNeil, Evelyn Murray, Ella Nyquist, Giselle Perez, Tierney Smith, Margaret Raboy, Kelly Richardson, and Jocelyn Cholette.
For many years, NDA has partnered with TASC, the Association of Catholic Student Councils, by hosting student leadership days or having student leaders serve at other TASC events. Two seniors have given an extraordinary amount of service to TASC and will be recognized with a TASC pin. Congratulations to Lily Burrell and Sophie St. Dennis. We would like to recognize the students in the class of 2020 who have earned Girl Scout Gold Award and Silver Award. These are the highest awards a Girl Scout can earn. Congratulations to Sasha Benson, Silver Award, Carson Fries, Gold Award, Grace Mansour, Silver Award, Jacqueline Oldorp, Gold Award, and Ava Purcell, Gold Award. In closing, this portion of the ceremony was about service, giving of yourself for the good of others in the name of Jesus. At this time, we want to recognize that every single member of the class of 2020 has sacrificed for the common good during this time of safer at home. Your spirit of love and generosity has saved lives and has protected the lives of the most vulnerable. We thank you for your sacrifice, a gift that is recorded in the book of heaven, not necessarily here on earth. Truly all of you are living our mission and are women of service and compassion. Thank you. Our next awards recognize students who are members of the National Honor Society who have earned their California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Seal Bearer Membership, or who have achieved both. Students are elected to the National Honor Society based on their grades, character, service, leadership, and scholarship. Today, the graduating members of Notre Dame Academy's Regina chapter of the NHS will receive a certificate and a purple cord in her class color to wear at graduation. Congratulations to the following NHS member, Mia Huo. Each semester, students who receive 10 or more CSF points based on their grades may be awarded membership in the California Scholarship Federation. A student who attains membership at least four out of the six semesters of her sophomore through senior years, including at least one semester in her senior year, is awarded lifetime seal bearer membership. Her diploma and high school transcript will bear the CSF seal, and she is awarded a gold cord to wear at graduation. Congratulations to the following CSF lifetime seal bearers. And seniors, if your name is not called on this first list, don't worry, I'll be reading another list in just a moment. Isabella Andrade, Keely Berger, Cassandra Bravo, Maria Jose Cepeda, Ariel Davis, Ariel Finch, Carolina Flores, Lucia Fulci, Isabella Fontilla, Carson Fries, Angela Garcia, Allison Grant, Nicole Guo, Rebecca Hurst, Lily Klein, Brianna Larios, Sitlali Lepe, Melanie Ma, Annie McCloskey, Madeline Moretta, Gabriela Nepomuceno, Sonia Nichols, Ella Nyquist, Elena Olson, Giselle Perez, Ava Placencia, Margaret Raboy, Kelly Richardson, Emily Schindel, Tierney Smith, Sophia St. Dennis, Fiona Taylor, Isla Thompson, and Jocelyn Chalette. Congratulations to you all. And congratulations to the following students who are both members of the National Honor Society and CSF Lifetime Seal Bearers. They will receive both a purple cord and a gold cord to recognize their achievements. Justina Antun, Sasha Benson, Alyssa Bosch, Lily Burrill, 
Alexis Clancy, Catherine Craig, Asia Custis, Yvette Esteban, Ariel Finch, Sofia Gonzalez, Osiris Guinea, Alondra Hernandez, Juliet Iacano, Lauren Johnstone, Natalia Kolesnikov, Genevieve Lauren, Amy McLoon, Catherine McDonald, Emily McPherson, Clara McNeil, Victoria Mora, Madison Morrow, Evelyn Murray, Jacqueline Oldorp, Lauren Pacheco, Ava Purcell, Angelique Rozo, Olivia Schumacher, Madeline Smith, Sarah Taylor, Daria Trainer, Antonia Valencia, and Jenna Yao. Congratulations to all of you. The Regal Awards for Excellence recognize a student in each subject who has made a significant contribution to her class through her participation, habits of mind, and growth mindset. One award is given per subject and no student may receive more than one award each semester. The following seniors have been chosen by their teachers to receive Regal Griffin Awards for their work in the second semester. Congratulations to Ac Academic Decathlon, Elena Olson, Advanced Dance Performance, Clara McNeil, British Literature Composition, Osiris Guinea, Calculus, Eva Placencia, Drama, Amelia Priestley, Economics, Tierney Smith, Intermediate Dance, Margaret Raboy, Introduction to Psychology, Ariel Davis. Journalism, Natalia Kalisnikow. Liturgical Choir, Evelyn Murray. Photography, Allison Skevers. Physics, Lucia Folsey. Responding to Jesus, Discipleship, Lauren Gamboa. Rocketry, Emily Schindel. Statistics, Madeline Smith. AP Art History, Olivia Schumacher. AP Calculus AB, Juliet Iacono. AP Calculus BC, Lauren Pacheco. AP Cons Computer Science Principles, Yvette Esteban. AP English Literature Composition, Daria Trainer. AP Environmental Science, Justina Antoon. AP French, Sarah Taylor. AP Government and Politics US, Jacqueline Oldorp. AP Physics One, Jenna Yao. AP Psychology, Ava Purcell. AP Studio Art, Joelle Turner. Varsity Softball, Alexis Clancy. Varsity Swim, Genevieve Lauren. Varsity Track and Field, Amy McLoon. And Varsity Soccer, Victoria Mora. Congratulations, ladies. Academic Decathlon involves months of rigorous preparation for two intensive weekend competitions involving subject, essay, speech, interview, and super quiz events. This year's team won a total of 47 individual medals. Congratulations to this year's academic decathlon se senior members, Delina Araya, Lauren Johnstone, Elena Olson, Emily Schindel, Daria Trainer, Antonia Valencia, Josh Jocelyn Shillette, and Jenna Yao. The Regal Knight Society is pleased to celebrate the following students for their enrollment at Notre Dame Academy Schools of Los Angeles from kindergarten through 12th grade. Justina Antoon, Yvette Esteban, Carolina Flores, Madeline Moretta, Evelyn Murray, Kelly Richardson. We'd also like to recognize the following students for joining them for a few years at NDA, NDAE, Sophia Makira and Jenna Yao. The Ralph Luke Singer Award is named for a longtime fan and supporter of NDA athletics who passed away in November, 2011. Ralph always had a positive spirit, was a fierce competitor and a generous donor. 
The young woman receiving this award was a captain and multi-sport athlete over her four year regal career. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Tierney Smith. The Scholar Athlete of the Year Award will be given this year to an impressive four year competitor for the Regal Athletics tennis team who also added track to her athletic resume this spring. Congratulations to this year's Scholar Athlete, Katie Cray. The final sports award, the Athlete of the Year Award, will be awarded to two stellar student athletes this year. Their lifetime devotion to their respective sports and commitment as four-year competitors for Regal Athletics allowed their stars to shine bright with winning performances over the years. They are both the epitome of the Regal athlete, dedicated, relentless, inspiring, and passionate about their sport and team. Congratulations to our co-athletes of the year. Alexis Clancy and Lou Balzi. We're pleased to announce the students who have completed all the requirements for Notre Dame Academy's STEM Pathways Program for Engineering. These students have completed AP Computer Science Principles, taken two years of rocketry and robotics, participated in an off-campus summer STEM experience, kept a digital portfolio of their work, and presented their experience in a public forum. Congratulations to Ariel Finch, Rebecca Hurst, Lauren Johnstone, Lauren Pacheco, Jacqueline Oldorp, Emily Schindel, and Sarah Taylor. The following student was nominated by NDA for a scholarship from the Engineers Council. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Lauren Johnstone. The next award is an annual memorial scholarship established by the family of Michelle Prendergast Lay for a graduating senior who will be pursuing her studies in nursing. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Claudia Hernandez. The Mr. Jenkin Award was established by a family whose daughters graduated from Notre Dame Academy. While both daughters were successful academically, they were most grateful for the lifelong skills they developed at NDA. The Jenkin Award goes to a student who has developed a strong growth mindset, who persists until she grasps the material, and who has critical thinking skills, integrative abilities, a love of learning, and a unique creativity in the field of mathematics. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Lauren Vanderslice. The next awards were established by Mr. and Dr. Raju, the parents of Maralisa and Srikrinti, both class of 2011. Mr. B. Paola Math Scholarship is awarded in recognition for outstanding work in the field of mathematics. Congratulations to this year's winner, Ava Purcell. The Dr. D. Krishnaveni Science Scholarship is awarded in recognition of outstanding work in the field of science. Congratulations to this year's award recipient, Lauren Johnstone. Claire Kagayama Ramakrishna of the class of 1987 was a gifted poet and teacher. She was an author of two award-winning poetry books and viewed writing as a sacred gift. The Claire Kagayama Award is given to a senior who has displayed a passion for the written word. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Madeline Smith. The next award was established to honor a student who's excelled in the area of visual and performing arts. 
for Excellence in the Field of Arts. Congratulations to Olivia Schumacher. And for Excellence in the Field of Humanities, congratulations to Natalia Kalisnikow. The Cheryl D. Robinson and Class of 1970 Scholarship is given to a graduating senior who demonstrates perseverance and demonstration and determination in her studies. She makes a difference in the classroom and goes above and beyond in reaching her fullest potential. The award is given in appreciation of how much she has added to the NDA community with her selfless heart, individual effort, and unwavering determination to achieve her personal best. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Isabella Fontila. The Margarita Melendez Award is presented to a graduate who throughout her years at Notre Dame has exemplified the, the ideals of Notre Dame Academy, giving of herself cheerfully, selflessly, perseveringly for the good of others. Her name will be engraved on a perpetual plaque that hangs in the front hall. Congratulations to this year's winners Isabella Andrade and Giselle Perez. The Archdiocese of Los Angeles annually recognizes a graduating senior who has distinguished herself by outstanding involvement in Christian service projects at her school, community, and parish. Not only does the recipient receive a medal from the Archdiocese to wear at graduation, but she also crowns Mary on Mary's Day. Congratulations to Justina Antoon. The St. Julie Award reflects the desire of the Sisters of Notre Dame to recognize a graduating senior who best exemplifies the qualities of St. Julie, the spiritual mother of the Sisters of Notre Dame. These characteristics include an optimistic and generous attitude towards all, belief and commitment to live the principles of the church, and a positive and cheerful attitude in all of life's situations. Her name will be engraved on a perpetual plaque. Congratulations to the following student, Jocelyn Cholette. The Sister Mary Aloysia Service and Education Award is given each year to an alumna and also to a graduating senior who has given outstanding service in some aspect of education. The recipient embodies the same caring heart as Sister Mary Aloysia, the foundress of the Sisters of Notre Dame. The recipient's name will be engraved on a perpetual plaque. We are delighted to be giving this award this year to Sonia Nichols. The Sisters of Notre Dame National Education Office Distinguished Graduate Award is given to a senior who is an authentic witness to Notre Dame education. She must have a GPA of over 3.0 and give evidence of thoroughness of study. She witnesses to God's goodness and provident care through service at school and in her community and strives to live gospel values in her daily life as Mary did. The recipient's name will be engraved on a perpetual plaque. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Laura Gamboa. Across the country, the National Honor Society Award recognizes students based on its criteria of outstanding scholarship leadership, 
service, and character. We are pleased to acknowledge tonight two students who will each receive an engraved medal to be worn at graduation. We are honoring Mia Huo and Antonia Valencia. The Assistant Heads of School Award is presented to a graduating senior who exhibits a strong love of knowledge and who takes genuine joy in learning. This young woman enriches others' lives with her infectious, inquisitive spirit and with her enthusiasm for exploring the world. The recipient of this award, selected by the administration, is representative of the Academy's mission to inspire a life of learning. Congratulations to Jenna Yao. The mission of Notre Dame Academy as a Catholic school is to provide an environment which empowers its young women to live their faith through word and deed. The President's Award recipient embraces her spirituality and leads by example both in and out of the classroom. The recipient of this award, selected by the administration, is representative of the Academy's mission to form women of faith who value service and learning. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Evelyn Murray. In selecting the valedictorian and the salutatorian, the administration looks for young women who have not only achieved high academic standing in their class, but who have also exhibited exemplary character and represent Notre Dame Academy's ideals of academic excellence and commitment to faith lifelong learning, leadership, and service. Congratulations to the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Jacqueline Oldorp. And congratulations to the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Daria Trainer. Both Jackie and Daria will be addressing their classmates at Saturday's virtual graduation ceremony. You may have heard us talk about the ISOs, Integral Student Outcome Benchmarks. The ISOs describe the women we hope you will grow to be during your four years at Notre Dame. Today, we are pleased to award an ISO certificate to each member of the class of 2020. Seniors, this ISO award is presented to you based on the recommendations of your teachers, college counselors, coaches, club moderators, staff, and administrators. It recognizes only one aspect of who you are, an aspect that you truly shared with us during your time here and that enriched our lives and our community. For this, we thank you. The Notre Dame Academy ISOs describe not the incoming ninth grader fresh from grammar school, but rather the girl on the other side, the young woman you have become. Your journey doesn't end with this graduation. Our cherished hope is that you will always strive to be a woman who makes a difference by continuing to live the ISOs in your daily life. We thank you for allowing us the honor of accompanying you for these four years. You have been a blessing to us, enlivening our community with your energy and enthusiasm. May God bless you abundantly and may you always carry with you the generous, loving and faith-filled spirit of the Sisters of Notre Dame. Women of Faith, Isabella Andrade, Lauren Gamboa, Alondra Hernandez, Claudia Hernandez, Brianna Larios, Evelyn Murray, Giselle Perez, Margaret Raboy, Laura Vanderslice, Jocelyn Cholette. Women of Academic Excellence, Katie Craig, Osiris Guinea, Mia Huo, Juliet Iacono, Lauren Johnstone, Natalia Kalisnikow, Genevieve Lauren, Clara McNeil, Madison Morrow, Gabriela Nepomuceno, Sonia Nichols, 
Ellen Nyquist, Jacqueline Oldorf, Elena Olson, Lauren Pacheco, Ava Purcell, Olivia Schumacher, Madeline Smith, Daria Trainer, Antonia Valencia, Jenna Yao. Women of Leadership, Kaylin Chan, Alexis Clancy, Asia Custis, Yvette Esteban, Ariel Finch, Cleophie Finkley, Lou Folsey, Carson Fries, Angela Garcia, Madison Maldonado, Sophia Makira, Amy McClune, Bisola Olwuyi, Kelly Richardson, Angelique Rosso, Emily Schindel, Tierney Smith, and Sophie St. Ben. Women of Vision, Sasha Benson, Daria Seaton, Arielle Davis, Charlotte Fuchs, Allison Grant, Nicole Guo, Rebecca Hurst, Melanie Ma, Anne McClowski, Victoria Mora, Madeline Moretta, Eva Placencia, Amelia Priestley, Rosemary Romero, Ivy Rosales, Natalia Rubalcava, Sarah Taylor, Isla Thompson, Joelle Turner. Woman of Compassion, Justina Antoon, Delina Araya, Keely Berger, Alyssa Bosch, Cassandra Bravo, Isabella Buada, Emma DeMay, Virginia Anabulele, Elisa Flores, Carolina Flores, Sofia Gonzalez, Tatiana Gonzalez, Sitlali Lepe, Samantha Martin, Emily McPherson, Brenna Medrano, Mia Mendoza, and Allison Skeevers. Woman of Service, Lily Burrill, Natalie Kassar, Maria Jose Cepeda, Gemma Clark, Yasbella Fontilla, Lily Klein, Grace Mansour, Catherine McDonald, Maria Muleda, Fiona Taylor. The next award is called the Pillars of Notre Dame Academy Award. It, is combi it combines the generous legacy of the Sisters of Notre Dame who founded our school in 1949 with our own aspirations for our graduates, known as the ISOs, our integral student outcomes. These ISOs express our hopes for the future as we help you all become women of faith, women of academic excellence, women of vision, women of leadership, women of service, and women of compassion. The Pillar Award recipient has been selected based on input from teachers, administrators, moderators, and the students of the class of 2020 themselves. These young women are in fact pillars of the class of 2020 and exemplify all of the members of the class of 2020 who carry with them the values and principles of Notre Dame Academy. It is with great pleasure that I announce the following recipients who will wear a stole at graduation. Woman of Faith. Ava Purcell. Woman of Academic Excellence, Olivia Schumacher. Woman of Vision, Sasha Benson. Woman of Leadership, Juliette Ayukano. Woman of Service, Ella Nyquist. Woman of Compassion, Evelyn Murray. The next award is the Alma Mater Award, also known as the Student of the Year Award. This plaque hangs in the main hallway from Notre Dame, for Notre Dame Academy. 
The name engraved on it each year is that of a graduating senior who in the judgment of the faculty has given outstanding service and shown exceptional school spirit and cooperation over the past four years while maintaining a strong academic profile. The inscription on the plaque reads, cooperation, leadership, scholarship, and service. Congratulations to Kelly Richardson. Gathered here this evening, we have honored the achievements and accomplishments of the class of 2020. We close our ceremony and pray these words of blessing from Father Michael Graham. Let us unite our hearts in prayer and entrust to the hands of the Lord those who will graduate this week. Class of 2020, may God who began this good work in you carry it through to completion, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to your commitments, always confident in the support of those who love you. May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half truths and superficial relationships so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression and exploitation of people so that you will work for justice, equality and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war, so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your integrity be a gift to the world and may the spirit of God be with you always. St. Julie Billiard, pray for us. Amen. Before we close with the alma mater, I just wanna say congratulations to the class of 2020 for all of your achievements. And all of your physical awards will be available for you to pick up with your cap and gown. I will have them ready to go in a bag for you on Friday, labeled and organized. So. Um, congratulations to everyone, and if you are at home, feel free to sing along. Dear old.